hello wonderful people welcome back to my channel and thank you for clicking on this video today i have a new makeup look that i want to try out for you guys today so i hope you stay tuned for the whole video let's just get straight into it So the first step to my makeup is doing my brows, but as you can see, I did them off camera. I already have a video on how I do my brows, and I will be linking that above and in the description box so you can follow along or go back and use that as my reference. So for the eyeshadow, I always go in with my eye primer from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I spread that all over with my brush. This is going to be the foundation for my eye color and it's just going to help with keeping the colors pigmented and bold. So for our first color, I'm going into the Matte Book Palette by the Crayon Case and I'm going to sweep this skin tone like brown right under my brow bone. Next, I will be going into this second palette by the Crayon Case called Box of Crayons and picking up the color black and gently packing that on my lid. Take your time because the color black is hard to fix once you apply too much to the eye. And feel free to pick up more of that color if you need it to be a little bit more bolder. But again, just be gentle with the packing. After that, I'm going back into the matte book and getting this beautiful deep green color and using a small buffer brush to apply that around the black. I'm going in with this lighter green color and using a bigger buffer brush to sweep that around the edges. Right here I'm using a smaller brush to blend the black eyeshadow into the green so that we can still have a smoky effect. I'm going to start applying the green colors on my left eye, but I noticed the color payoff was better on that eye. So I had to go back and apply some more on the other eye as well. Don't be afraid to do that. Just take your time and be patient. Last step, I'm going into this Morphe Live in Color palette and I'm picking up this sparkly green color called Activism and applying that with my finger to the very middle of my eyelid. That just changed the whole look and gave it some depth and detail. I'm going to be doing this step off camera, but I'm going to be using my Kat Von D tattoo liner and my lashes and applying that on my eyes. Here you go. Look at her. I'm just using this wet towel to clean off any excess powder from the shadow that fell on my face. And then I'm going to apply this Makeup Forever primer on my face. Um, I love this primer. I'm going to be linking a card above so that you can see my other videos but I love this combination of the primer and the Urban Decay foundation it just gives me a flawless skin finish the next steps I'll be taking are pretty self-explanatory and I will be linking a card above here so you can see all my other videos that I have so you can follow as a reference as well but all those videos are going to show you how I do my face how I do my foundation steps and everything else so hope you enjoy the rest of the video I will be popping back up but Mm. 
forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it this far. If you're enjoying the look and the eyeshadow that we did already, go ahead and leave a comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already. And after this video, I would recommend that you watch the other videos that I reference in my description box below just so that you can get a little bit familiar with my face steps and how I do my makeup and anything else because you know girl I'm funny <laughs>